I say, hey, middle finger up to whoever don't like. I don't like a barking nigga who won't bite. Your best bet is to walk light. I sleep light and I grind hard when I. What's going on, everybody, man? He's your boy Tops. You already know, man. Welcome back to Tops World, baby. Today we're gonna be. Well, I'm gonna be talking about my Jordan 72 tens to show you guys how beat up they are and how they holding up in today's world. You know what I mean? Basically, guys, man, I beat the crap out of these shoes, man. I beat the crap out of them. I basically word them to work, word them to play, word them to play basketball, word them to go to the gym or whatever. I word them to do car washes. And, and, man, I wear them to pretty much do anything, man. I beat these guys up, and these are probably the most expensive shoes I've ever bought in. So, guys, further ado, let's get to these 72 tens. Beat the hell up. I hope you guys don't freaking get mad at me or anything like that. I just want to show you guys what they, sh you know, what, how how beat up they are and you know that I still use them to this day to do stuff that so I don't have to destroy my other sneakers but like I said guys if you guys do buy sneakers wear them man that's what they're there for they're there for you to wear them not to put them in a closet somewhere and you know I understand they hold a little bit of a value to them but at the end of everything if you're not a reseller and you're just a collector just wear them man wear them Either way, even if you do wear them, you you know, you got multiple shoes, you got 50 shoes, 60 shoes, 10 shoes, just wear them, guys, wear them. Because at the end of everything, they are shoes, all right, guys, to be worn. So, let's get to it, man. Enough of this jibba jabba and let's get to these sneakers, man. I'm excited. <laughs> Here you go, guys. My Jordan 11 72 tens. These suckers are beat up, man. I know, man. I know, I know, I know. Look at the bottom, though. Oh my god. I believe I got a picture on Instagram. I will post it right here. They were fresh, man. I. Whoo -wee. But look, guys, look. At the end of everything, like I said earlier, these are just sneakers, man. These are just sneakers. You gotta wear them, you gotta use them, man. No matter what the occasion is, to chop down a tree, to go rescue a cat up on a tree. You know, at the end of everything, you know, I, I really don't see this as like, oh, I gotta baby these things. Nah, man, I'm not that kind of dude, man. But, come to realize that I'm like, man, if I didn't beat these up, I, I couldn't make a video off of them, man. I, I'm pretty sure there's not a video out there on YouTube, and if there is, leave a link in the description or in the, the comment section, letting me, so I wanna see the video. But definitely, a pair of 72 tens? Nah, I don't believe you. Nah, I don't believe it. So yeah, guys, these 72 tens, I actually bought these uh, about maybe three or four days early, okay? Three or four days early before release date. So, of course, I think, I believe they retailed at $300, okay? Um, I believe they retailed at $300. I paid over $40 extra. So, yeah, guys, I, I basically got these guys and um, beat the crap out of them. As you guys can see, these are beat up. They got spray glue on them. They got dust. Man, these shoes were beat up. And what's funny is that I still smell the leather on them. Let's go start with the left shoe first. I know if you guys remember, but the left shoe, our, our, um, the shoelaces come with the, uh, they say 72. Hold on, let the camera focus. So yeah, guys, they basically have the 72 on the laces. On the other side of the laces, you got the 10. The tag on the back of the tongue. You could 
see a little bit of the Jordan print, the sticker wearing off. Remember the red uh, Jumpman? That's basically wearing off right there. The shoe is actually still, you know, holding on glued pretty well. The pan leather is destroyed. The pan leather on these things are destroyed. The suede. Man, to be honest with you, I'm embarrassed to show you guys. Um, basically, I don't know what I was thinking of using these shoes like that, but they're all black. They match with everything. And plus, it's the 72 tens, man. You know what I mean? You can't go wrong. The bottom sole, as you can see, has coming off right here. I think on the other shoe, that's not happening, but yeah, man, these things are destroyed. Let's go take a look at the right shoe. Is the right shoe. Beat up. These right shoes are beat up, man. The jump man. 23 in the back. Bro, look, a chunk of the bottom is missing. Woo! Beat up, man. I actually took advantage of these shoes right here, man. These are the most expensive shoes I've ever owned, man. And that was the retail price. I just paid a little bit more just to get them in my hands a little early. Look at the, the, I don't even know where the box is to these. Man, these shoes are beat up. Oh, look ripped right there these these shoes have done me justice man these shoes right here were probably the probably one of my favorite 11s besides the concourse but um yeah i could show you how beat up the shoes are like look at that it's crazy man right what you got so let me know what you guys think about me beating up these shoes right here, man. These shoes are freaking beat the hell up, man. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Did I do something wrong with those shoes? Did, did you know, let me know if you guys hate the fact that I did that to those shoes or the fact that you guys love the fact that I wear them to the nitty gritty, bear down to the bone, you know? Cause man, at the end of the day, like I said, this is my opinion. Shoes are, be, are to be worn. If you look at my win like 86s, I mean 96s, I wear them, bro. That's what they're there for. They're there to be worn. You know what I mean? They still look fresh to me. I rock these to a wedding if I had to, you know what I'm talking about? But yeah, guys, basically I beat them up, man. I, I wear my shoes. I wear every single one. Look at these LeBrons right here. These LeBrons, I wear them, man. I just need to clean them. I need to find the time, man. You know, the, for what I do for a living, I go into work at a certain time, and I don't know when, when I'm getting home. And I could get home at two o'clock in the afternoon, or I could get home at 10, 12 o'clock at night. So it's hard for me to maintain my stuff. I try to maintain the ones that I, you know, cherish the most. But I want to show you guys something. I got some Jordan 4s. I believe they're the Legend Blues. And... Bro, these things are sturdy as hell, man. These shoes right here. Oh my God, man. These shoes... Man, they they could take a beating, man. I, I Man, I've, I've done everything in their mother. They're all white. They actually don't look too bad right now. I think I cleaned them about six months ago or something like that and you know I wear them here and there but then it started raining and stuff like that so you can tell they got some beating into it some wear cuz guys these shoes cost a lot of money man so basically I, I make the money's worth I'm not a type of person I can't just keep them there and just look at them they have to be on my feet man that's why I buy my size make sure that they fit me comfortably that they're not gonna be hurting my feet cuz I'm not gonna wear them and if they don't fit me like that then I'll be giving them away to a, you know, my nephew, some family member, 
out there or something like that because I don't know but I love these shoes these shoes were actually were a sleeper here in my town they were sitting like ducks and then I even found these in the outlet and that's when I picked these up picked these up um, at the outlets I believe for a hundred bucks also want to show you guys a pair of 13s that I have too as well that I beat the crap out of I actually these are my basketball sneaker shoes right here. This is when I go play ball or whatever. I wear these suckers right here because they're they're comfortable as hell and they're the low tops. So and they don't weigh as much. But yeah, guys, look at these. I believe these are the bread lows. Man, they, they look better when they're worn, man. They they I don't know to me, like like a shoe this see piece of tape. Man, when the shoe is worn, it adds some character to it. You know what I'm talking about? Let me know if you guys think if you guys think the same way I think. They do add character to the shoe. So yeah, guys, look, I beat them up as you guys can see. Like I said, guys, I'll never be reselling shoes anyways because every single shoe that I own to this day, I will beat the crap out of. I'm gonna show you my uh, my Barclays too, my '95 Barclays. I wear them, man. I wear the crap out of them. These are my Barclays. These I don't wear too much because they're not a comfortable shoe to wear. Uh, if you, I had to cut the strap here on the top so when I put them on, you know, and plus I wanted to show the Air Max. But yeah, guys, I had, as you can see, I, I, I cut off the top elastic part because there's four and i cut them off but these colorways right here are the og colorways right here i i i believe i owned back in the days when they re retro these um basically guys i owned the all white pair and i also own the usa colors and guess what i beat them up passed them on you know what i mean to somebody probably in need who needed shoes so um show you those and then i also want to show you my Dennis Rodman's 90, these are not also 95 too. These were re retro about two years ago. Um, this was actually a gift from my uh, from my wife. She knew that I was after these shoes, like at least the retro shoes, and then they re released them a couple years after. And then I guess she was online or something, she saw a promo on it or something like that, and she went ahead and she copied these. And I can show you when I first got them on, on Instagram, I'll show you a picture right here. Oh, uh, with the Will Smith Fresh Prince socks. These shoes are legendary, man. They say everything, man. Everything. Um, the bottom, the inside. The shoes are dope, man. I really like these shoes. Um, they're not probably the most comfortable ones, but they're pretty good to ball in. I like to ball on these too as well. I want to show you, this is the first pair of KDs I've ever owned. Uh, these are actually, um, I believe they're, I believe they're probably exclusive. And so far, nobody on YouTube, I, I haven't seen nobody on YouTube show these shoes. But these were probably, I think these are the KD ones, the first KDs that he's released. And these are the KDs Christmas. These shoes, I definitely like to ball on these shoes. These shoes are dope to play basketball in. You know, the colorway on these things are loud, so people can see me coming, boy, from a mile away. These are the KD Christmas. I think I even used these for work one time and all that stuff. I'll show you the insole. Uh, the insole quick is real quick. We'll give you update that it is the Christmas uh, KDs. I actually got these at the House of Hoops in Orlando. Shout out to House of Hoops in Orlando. Those people out there. Are tremendous man so if you guys are ever in orlando go check them out there i believe they're in the malls of america or in um hold on let me ask my wife honey all right guys it's called mall i don't know but yeah guys it's uh basically a mall out in orlando or i'm not sure if it's international mall or whatever oh malls of the america or uh, um i don't know guys but yeah basically i got those there let me see if i can take them out not too hard. Ugh. I think my rich said these 
man hands. All right, guys, excuse the dirtiness, but as you guys can see, you know, it has KD right there playing basketball, the candy cane, the lightning, and all that crap. I guess he was playing for the Thunder. Well, I, yeah, he was playing for the Thunders when, when um, these shoes released. But if you guys do have these, let me know in the comment section right now. And um, and if you can't hit me up with DM with a picture and show me them, man, because that, that's tight. If you got them brand new in a size 13, let me know, man. I'll probably, you know, get them off your hands if you need if you need to get rid of them. If you guys are looking to sell, because these these shoes are actually pretty dope. Um, it's actually a, a weird uh, colorway, but. It caught my attention, so I, I pretty much had to get these guys. Like I said, if you guys are new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. Man, the channel has been growing, man. Ever since I've been dropping out some freaking sneaker banger videos, man. People have been loving them, I guess, man. So shout out to you guys, all the new people subscribing, man. Showing me love in the comment section. I appreciate that, man, because that's letting me know that I'm doing something right for the community. And... Guys, if you guys know Mr. Skinny really well, or, or Sniper Jones, or Tony D2 Wild, or I don't know, Mike Rich, any of those guys, man, I would like to do a collaboration with you guys. Uh, basically, I am going to SneakerCon February 2nd in Fort Lauderdale, and that is my very first SneakerCon that I've ever, like, I've ever attended. I'm, I'm, I never attended a sneaker con uh, um, convention. We had one here in, in, in Naples, but it was trash. Uh, nobody came out. It was just local people uh, trying to sell sneakers that 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 weren't even. I don't know, but whatever, guys. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell right there to. Every time I post a video, you guys are notified so you guys won't miss a thing. And guys, stay tuned. I'm still waiting for those Nike Air Max 95X Cavs EMPTs to, to arrive. And I can't wait to get those in hands. I'm, I'm actually excited for copying uh, those 90, those 95 Air Max, man. They're going to be dope for, I believe I'm going to wear those at SneakerCon. That's one of the reasons why I got them. They're, they're nice shoes and they're very limited, man. They were 200 bucks retail. So... It's crazy. So, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, man. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And you already know, man, it's your boy Tops, and I'm out. Peace. Oh, don't forget, check out my Instagram. Riding in the motherfucking road. Fuck. Nigga talking down, I don't know. Yeah. Made a hundred plays in the fold.